Now, the main opposition party in Kuala State, the PDP, and the current administration of the Old Progressives Congress, APC, have continued to trade words over the alleged sum of 450 billion naira foreign and local revenues attracted into the state as revenues and allocation between 2019 and 2022. While the Kuala State PDP Chairman Babatunde Mohammed alleges that the APC government in the state has mismanaged the said huge revenues, the Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Rafiu Ajekai, debunks their claims. Now, the PDP has remained quiet for a while until this moment when it inaugurated five newly appointed members of the State Working Committee. The field of vacuum created by former ex-cos who voluntarily resigned some months ago. The party chairman, Babatine Mohammed, used the occasion to challenge the state government under the leadership of Abdul Rahman Abdul Razak to account for the sum of 450 billion naira foreign and local revenues attracted into the state coffers. The state has received about 450 billion naira in revenue between 2019 to 2022. There's no commensurate project commissioned despite cash flow. When you are saying this is what we have uh, accumulated in terms of debt, I've mentioned to you several projects in excess of 15 different projects that the government, that this administration is, is uh, executing across the state. What we have received compared to what we have done when you put it side by side with what the PDP has done, people of the people of Christ didn't know the difference. The People's Democratic Party in the state also said it is disappointed over the debt profile of the state of about 110 billion naira as of September 2022, while the APC maintained the current figure stand at over 167 billion naira. Despite all this cash flow, Quarter debt profile, which was around 30.2 billion, as at March 2018, has been increased to around 110 billion naira. First and foremost, when we came on board in 2019, the domestic debt of Quarter State stood at 67 billion naira. So that clearly contradicts the claim they made. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.